Hello, Baraka. Hello, Baraka. Welcome to the Philippines. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Will. There you go. They're so friendly and so nice here. Oh, we love it. We arrived very early in the morning just to actually visit Barakai and this is a ticketing booth area where we have to get a ticket, environmental fee and so much more. There's still a lot of things and people here traveling from the different um, islands, I mean from the different regions of the Philippines just to visit the wonderful Barakai. So we're part of it and yeah, sorry I lost my voice, kinda lost my voice with too much vlogging. Well this is the ticketing booth here in Barakai Island. Getting into Barakai is kind of easy but not easy. There's so many things you need to tackle and so many things you need to do. Especially you're getting your tickets, getting your terminal fees, environmental fees and so much more in there. So after the registrations and verifications of your ID, you are going to get your ticket fees. So once you get your tickets and everything done, finished, you're gonna go to one of these aisles here as an enter to Barakai Islands. It says there's two options here. You have the tourists and also the local. So, because you can see both of these ones are actually set into two settings. This area is for the tourists and this one is for the local areas. Now once you get it, there's also one here called Tourists and Guests. It is where we're going and you know, they're gonna check the tickets and yeah, there we go. That's the ticket. And say hello Baraka. Hello, Baraka. Welcome to the Philippines. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you will. There you go. They're so friendly and so nice here. Oh, we love it. To the next ones, once it's as the checking, you get your tickets with you, and then you know you get to ask one of the porters here to bring all carry your bags all the way to this one of these boats here. This is where the transportation starts because the islands is actually just in a different side of the island, so you don't just come here to Barakai and you know it's on the shore right away. So you gotta go get a boat, get a ticket all the way down there, and that is actually. Well, we're gonna take all the way across the other side of the island. Uh, yes, we are getting ready to board the boat as a mode of transportation. And this is what it looks like again. Thank you so much. This is quite a bit wobbly here, but I think I can have my balance fixed. Okay, all right. Thank you, thank you. I think it will take you uh, 20 minutes from port to the next island so we are just waiting for the boat to start but I think it's moving now today is a fully crowded boat especially early in the morning because you can also see some of the locals are going back to uh, the islands
Whoa, that was a solid 10 minutes boat ride all the way from the port out there and all the way here to Boracay Islands. Okay, let me go. Oh God, this is... Ah, I made it. I made it. It's quite a bit wobbly there. It's, um, it's more of a high tide season now because in the morning and the water was so wavy when we get a chance to be on the middle of the water yeah it was a bit wobbly and I feel like it's getting sick but it's okay this is exactly the port of Boracay and as you can see on the other side here these are all the boats the transportation means of Boracay to get the passengers all the way from the land area and then transported here to Boracay exactly how cool is that I mean, if you want to experience islands, beautiful islands in the Philippines, you got to travel, you need a transportation, and that's it. Pay some fees, by the way. Paracay Island is such a beautiful place, and look at this. I think what I did in these islands is that before they rehabilitated the islands for a few months, just to refix everything, um, getting everything into a bit of a rehabilitations in terms of the water the system and so on now it has changed a bit a lot now but I've never been here for quite a few years another new look of Paracay which I really like there was no port here before but then now there is port now and I think the mode of transportation is quite really easier now and yeah I think it's getting easier better and bigger but look at that there's a big name here on front of it and people are getting photos here because it welcomes you with the name Boracay which is really good and look at that hello Boracay that's a big name here behind me that make you see a bit of a welcome to the islands we're still waiting for the big reveal because we still have to check into the hotels but we are here early in the morning just to see really feel the sunshine early in the morning and you know just getting everything ready but now we're here look at that the beauty of this place there we go this is another mode of transportation as you can see there's another transportation that you need to take from boat drive to land transportation It's a welcome breakfast for us here so we traveled long way far away actually and then we arrive here early in the morning at 6 a.m in the morning and then we get a welcome breakfast here there we go thanks to marvin for taking care of us that's right thank you and look at that this is a very good welcome service for everyone so we're six of us here and we are having a good time in the morning all right Welcome to the Fairways Blue Water Resort here in Boracay Islands, the Philippines. Now I'm going to show you exactly what my room is. So I stay, I'm stay. i staying here at Fairways and Blue Water. This is my key card inside the room. So I book up a mirror room so I can have my friends here, whatever. And this is exactly what it looks like. So when you enter the room, you have the two king size beds here and on this set bed you can actually host what four people here the maximum and also you have a television here you also have what this is the toilet which is really good the toilet is quite really big here and which is actually very good now look at the vanity mirror here wow it's so good you have all the amenities you have another mirror small mirror here for yourself which can magnify and also look at this vanity mirror and the beauty of the shower is always you know indications of a good hotel is always a shower because it's you know it's it's one of the places where we usually stay most you know the toilet 
right? You have actually what? It's sanitized here as well because of the sanitary and hygiene COVID protocols here in Fairways in Blue Water, which is um, really good. Access to the pool. I'll show you what it looks like here again. It's quite a bit sunny today. You know, if you actually here closer to the water or to the beach, it's got really very sunny. But look at this. You have your own, what, a balcony here? which is actually overlooking the swimming pool. Look at how spacious is this place. It looks very, very good. The air conditioning is really, really good as well. Freshly fixed and clean. Now this is, would say what? Five star hotel experience. show you what breakfast looks like here at Fairways in Blue Water. This is Rose and this is Jody. They're so friendly. Look at them. <laughs> Hello. I'm gonna go inside for a second. Thank you. Look at this. It's so busy now early in the morning. Breakfast starts at 6 o'clock. I'm gonna show you around as promised and this is what it looks like when there's a lot of people here and yeah quite very very good place to start your breakfast so this is what breakfast looks like look at that I'll show you we have fresh fruits here where you can have your fresh fruit early in the morning it's so filled with lots and lots of food here. Good, morning. Hello, good morning hi Vincent oh, the coffee area is here the coffee is more important Hello, good morning good morning everyone look at them they're so friendly here and look at that selections of food are just so good here uh, we have here the set cereal stations here and also the main course and food is all over there you look at the process of how they make food here it's just so good and very very delicious um, we have the garlic rice scrambled egg and also what, potato also the hot dogs like right? Filipino style and also what corned beef Filipino style and also the French toast which is so good here I like it I had some cursed but none compared to the times that I had with you I take out a loan for just one day alone to run back the time in slow mo I'd sell my guitars, I'd spend life behind bars To take one more trip through the story night Cause this was the best day of my life Thanks for the best day of my life Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, it's just so windy right now because we're on top of the mountain, but it's good. You know, as what they said, you are now entering a stress-free zone, which is absolutely right. So I've shown you the Ferris and Blue Water reception area is, but then this time if you want to experience party in a paradise privately here at Ferris Blue Water, experience Kudeta. Kudeta is a place here where they just recently opened for everyone who wants to party at night, spend the day here, have lunch, you know, get your friends all together here, your family, you can order food here. On the daytime, it's just a different ambience and also at night time where you see things happen in action. There are such a lot of facilities here in this area that I want to show you around. Each view here on top of the mountains. I think that's the beauty of this place because you know privately you can come here, do your stuff here with no one else from the outside world where you can just you know be yourself enjoy the rest of the day and continue your wonderful experience and vacations here at Fairways and Blue Water as what I mentioned earlier they're just reopened recently and some of the areas here are still closed but then I think once they get back and recover then they will fully reopen everything but for this time this area is open for guests and people you know check in in this hotel experience party in a paradise i think that's all what we need right I just want to have a big review of the things that I've recently experienced here in Fairways and Blue Water. First of all, I just want to say thank you for the administrations of Fairways and Blue Water for treating me well enough that, you know, we enjoyed so much about things here around the area and I just really love how how good they are and you know giving us the best of experience here there are so many things to say with fairways and blue water but i just want to give you a brief a brief of it so i can actually just say want to thank you the administration of fairways and blue water the people here and the staff here at blue water are just so friendly loving and caring and i think that's one thing that you would um, see when you visit this area um, they take care of you from start to finish, from check in to check out, and so much more. And also, the people around here are just one of a kind. Um, I don't know what to say, but I think my stay here just sum up everything. It's a place where you know have where you want to have your privacy and also you know be with your family and you know it, it's just pretty easy to access fairways in blue water when you're here the amenities here are superb i just want to say if i would give five to ten stars i would give hundred stars to fairways and blue water um if you wondering where to book your travel destinations next time and your accommodations come here at fairways and blue water and they will definitely treat you well and give you the best of experience ever and I think that's it for today and yeah thank you so much for the staffs of Ferris and Blue Water um, you, you've given me a lot of love care and attention while my stay here and thank you so much for for everything I'll see you again next time Go. 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 Go.